Coming up, it's a very special holiday hands-on tech. Aunt Jason, Micah, and I will show you our favorite gadgets of 2019. This is Twit. This episode of Hands on Tech is brought to you by iFixit. Visit iFixit.com slash hot to get $10 off your next $50 fix. Hey, everybody. Welcome to uh, a first ever, all four of us, Hands on Tech. All the Twit staff hosts have gathered together. We're going to show off. We were told to pick three. I picked eight. We were going to overachiever. <laughs> Our favorite gadgets of 2019. Let's go left to right. Let's start with you, Aunt Pruitt. Your favorite gadgets of 2019. All right. Well, my top three. We'll start out with a mouse, the Logitech MX Master Three. A mouse. Yeah, a mouse. Because you know, I've always had a big issue with mice being too daggum small. So I continue to the use these of his old hands. ones. So. Logitech said, you know what, try this one out. And it fits my big hand, plus you get all of the extra creative buttons to use with your different creative apps, Photoshop, Lightroom, so forth. How much does it weigh? Uh, this weighs nothing. How much does it weigh? You see it floating in the air? Basically, it's like a feather. It's also a oh. perfect <laughs> holiday gift very, because okay, it was the night bad. before Christmas and all through the house, oh, all through not house. a creature was stirring right. even the Logitech, even the Logitech MX, MX Master 3. Master 3. Oh, it looks wow. like science fiction, too. But that thing is awesome for creators. Does it massage your and hand? it feels good. I'll tell you the one it negative. Should. <laughs> it's not ambidextrous. I'm a lefty of all of you. Left I'm the only mouse. guy who can't use it. They don't make a left-handed version. Well, we can't help hmm. you, a weirdo. I know. It's weird that you left mouse. <laughs> I'm lefty, but I don't left mouse. You right mouse? No, I, I, I wish they did have something like that because there are left-handed people out there that create content. Surprise. So. Apparently, there's not that many <laughs> what else you got? creatives out there. Next up is the Pixel 4 XL. Oh, in orange. Pixel 4 XL with the beautiful color. Um, the operating is system on this is so much better. <laughs> This is close to Clemson Orange, so it'll do. It'll do. <laughs> I got it. it matches your car and your yes. hat and your shirts and, and your socks. It goes no, with all socks. his orange gear. <laughs> I'm glad you picked the Pixel 4 because Ron Amadio and a lot of other people, a flow even, don't I, like it. And I think it's the greatest phone. I love I it. I love it. The camera on this thing is sick. I've mm -hmm. been trying to play around with the night photography, but here recently in Petaluma, it's been raining, yeah. so I can't get a good view of the oh, you sky. want to do the astro wow. photography right i want stars. to do the astro i got one night with it but it was just sort of a quick test so i don't want to really give it this i got something you're going to want to use now, with that for oh. your astro photography in a second. and lastly is the wacom cintiq uh 15. this is the entry level cintiq for people that are into uh, graphic design and digital drawing or in my case photography i use this thing when i'm doing headshots in particular <laughs> Um, it's really, really intuitive. It doesn't have all of the, the extra bells and whistles that the $1,500 model has as far as being a touch screen and I could pinch and zoom. You would have to have some type of shortcut set up, but this is a good way to get people interested in the upper echelon oh. of the Cintiq. Now and you have, but don't use a Surface Studio. Do you think it's better to use the Cintiq or would you prefer to have something at that angle that is the actual operating. This is this is a little bit better. You like that? This is a little bit better because it's a little more immersive and, and it's right here in my face kind of yeah, thing. But it works. I use it more so for like headshots and things like that. I don't use it for landscape or anything. But if I'm doing headshots and I really want to make sure I get all the eye detail, mm -hmm. this is perfect for that. And this thing, this pin, the Pin Pro 2 gives you like 40 different points of pressure. So you can really get precise and you don't have all of the parallax effect. I mean, this thing, if you were to look at it on the screen, it's perfect with my mouse tip. <laughs> Here, let me put <laughs> a Jason's camera on looking at it. No, no lag whatsoever. So this is oh, why it doesn't okay, have touch. You don't want your uh, fist or your palm or anything to affect right. it. So only the stylus right. will affect now, it. Now, the expensive version, it does have touch and you can disable it. Yeah. But this, I still think this works just fine. Nice. Aunt Pruitt, host That's of Hands-On Photography, Focus on Photography. And our newest host. That's Thank right. you, Ant. Thank you, sir. Nice Happy holidays. Next, Jason Howell from Tech News Weekly and all about Android. I hope you have some Android gear in there. I do. I, actually, everything is Android, depending on how you look at it. Let's start, <laughs> first of all. I liked the Pixel 4, but I think I was more impressed by the Pixel 3a. That Better came price. Out earlier half in the, the year. price. I think the value of the Pixel 3a, half the price is like 400 bucks, and actually now you can get it like around the $300, $250 range. And you get a fingerprint scanner. Well, you get a fingerprint scanner. You get the headphone jack, the headphone port up the very oh, top. The so if you're old port. school, the, the phone for you. But, I mean, just the fact that you get the pixel-quality camera 
in this device for such a low price. I mean, it's it's hard to beat it. And I, I feel like the design, like even it's though it's plastic, pretty. it's really nice. Like they did a really great job with the plastic. And with Google's Pixel Drops, you're getting a lot of the features that are on the Pixel yep. 4 now are trickling down to the Pixel 3 and 3a. So you're not even missing out. On Absolutely. Yeah. You get the you get the kind of the uh, simple Pixel launcher experience. You get the regular updates, feature updates, as well as the security updates for three solid years. So How much does it weigh? Huh? <laughs> is this going to be your question? This is my how, many, show? how many mice this is my... does it weigh? Uh, this is uh, about half a mouse. Okay, right, compare half it to the, uh, the Pixel 4. Good enough, good enough. The Pixel 4 was <laughs> a little heavier. your iPhone. Pixel please. 4 was a little oh, heavier. Let me see. Okay. It's actually noticeably heavier. Yeah. yeah. And the, heavier. the battery life <laughs> might be better on the 3A <laughs> than it is on the Pixel wow. 4. I haven't had any problem with the battery life, though, on the Pixel 4. Honestly, I've been very, very happy. I've been very happy. With the 4XL, absolutely. Yeah. XL. It's been just Not fine. the little one. Yeah, yeah. It's been just fine. My other pick uh, would be the OnePlus 7 Pro. This so also came hot. out earlier this year. And, you know, it's it just had a number of features in the 600-ish price range so not necessarily in the thousand dollar premium range which we're used to seeing Thank uh, like the current crop of premium phones being but you get most of the features you get the 90 hertz display you get the neat little pop out uh front show that selfie That's cam show the selfie cam so it's funny. a little periscope it's do, so do, cute do. It's I gotta they say it's the rated for thousands and thousands okay. of are you ready watch dun, dun, dun. Oh. Oh. So and then if I were brave, I would drop it, and it would it, it would go oh, in. Does it? Yes. Oh, um, so no, okay. don't, don't. Don't do it. No. <laughs> there, you go. there we go. Oh, it went in. Yay. And it went right it in. Went in. Oh, I agree really with awesome. you. I think that after the Pixel, that's the second best Android phone out there. I really think they did a nice job. One Plus has come a long way. They're celebrating their sixth year. Um, they kind of came on the scene as a totally unknown, uh, you know, company, and. Now they're producing phones that go toe to toe for a mm -hmm. lot less money with uh, premium smartphones. And that products. fingerprint reader works yes. so much better than yes. Samsung's. It, it does really works. Fingerprint sensor that actually works. Yeah. Screaming it's fast. fast. It's just yeah. a really great phone for the I price, agree. especially. And it came in the world's best box too. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> yes. he had to wrestle Micah for the opportunity to pick that one. I think Micah wanted to pick it too, <laughs> and so I wanted pretty. to pick this next thing, the Oculus Quest. And this, to me, is VR the way it's supposed to be. VR the way it's supposed to be, and I should also add, it is running Android underneath, so this is also an Android device. But um, yeah, the Oculus Quest. I got to tell you, as far as VR for me is concerned, like I'm, I'm, I'm very interested in VR, but I'm probably not anytime soon going to buy a gaming rig and plug in the wires and, right. and go the, the top tier route. So just the pick up and play ability of the Oculus Quest, the quality of the games that you get in here, the fact that the controllers are solid, like these are these are just top of the line controllers. They do everything I need to do uh, within the VR space. I love being able to draw my guardian in a room. I came in here one night when the, when the studio was empty and drew a guardian this entire room. And use and, the whole space? And use the entire space. Oh. And I walked around in, um, what, it was a job simulator? Walked, you know, <laughs> throughout the job simulator store. at your job. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, it's nested jobbing. Um, but, yeah, it was really cool. It was really neat. You know, what is also neat is just this month they dropped an yes. update to this that means you don't need those hand controllers oh, anymore right. Right. it can see your hands now, how does that work that's yeah well crazy. so that works right now it works in the os itself i have not tested it out yet games have to, to be the, written to games work would have to be um tailored but to there's support already it, but there is the potential there and they've added yeah. in the support that's would, truly exciting i would then say the one unwired, downside on this is that it's a facebook product people are going to have a problem with that right and so you kind of got to get over that do you want one of the more interesting vr platforms Okay, well, you got to accept the fact that it's a Facebook product, and that might turn people off. Those so. terms of service just updated with That's the right. new uh, ad tracking, data ad tracking. Ad serving, yes, oh. all that. Jason Howell, all about Android Tech News Weekly, your partner on Tech News Weekly every Thursday, Mr. Micah Sargent. He also joins me on iOS today. 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 Not tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Well, tomorrow also. Every day. Uh, yeah. So, wait, <laughs> is this not yours? No, this is oh, just. This is just. By the way, gave me this to put it in your face. That's the talk. Rico Theta S. No, bless you. Nope. Okay, so I have the newest one, and it was one of my picks. Except that, and I love it. It's a it's a 360 camera. It does really well. Um, the only problem I have is I never use it because what are you going to do with 360, do with 360 degree 360 video? <laughs> yeah. Right. So put I keep thinking class. it's going to be something cool. Yeah. There's there no there are some ways stuff. we can discuss. All right, because oh I have them all. I also have the GoPro Fusion. Uh, I think this was the choice, though, the high-end uh, Rico. What do you got? No, that's All the right. 360. So up first, uh, the <laughs> Apple Watch Series 5 came out this year. 
Um, and while I love this device, I would just say the Apple Watch itself is uh, sort of a device of the year pick for me. I agree. Whether you ended yeah. up getting the three, which is uh, on sale right now, um, and a lot of people are grabbing, or you go for the latest one, which has the always on display, um, it is a fantastic wearable and sort of health companion. And that's what I think it becomes the most important thing about this is that this device genuinely helps me keep track of different aspects of my health. The reason why I made an upgrade from the Series Zero original to the Series Three at the time. Because Uncle Leo bought you one. No, no, not Series Three. <laughs> oh, okay. The Series Three I bought myself after I ended up in the hospital with heart issues. Oh, um, interesting. Yeah. So I do you use it for to, that? And I still do to this day. It's got um, a one AFib. lead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it does AFib ECG. tracking. It yeah. has a one lead ECG, and I use all of those features. If ever my heart feels a little off or weird, That's I'll run the cool. ECG and then it's like, hey, you're fine. Um, so that's just kind of a nice little bit of, you know, uh, do I need to head in and see the heart everybody, doctor again? That kind hold of up your Apple Watch, everybody. Uh, oh. oh, no. Just us. Sorry. Oh, I've got man. one of these, though. <laughs> yeah. You know, I got to point out one thing, though. Neither Micah nor I is wearing a genuine Apple band. We're both wearing third-party bands. And that's actually in some ways the best thing about the Apple Watch. They didn't patent the lugs. Yes. And you can buy inexpensive bands that I think are as, uh, this nice. is a Milanese loop for 10 bucks mm -hmm. instead of the 100 bucks or something that Apple charges. Yeah, so actually, uh, this is the interesting thing. This is a first party band. Uncle Rene bought this for me whenever I joined uh, iMore. <laughs> But you didn't I wanted, take it back when you left. No, we didn't take it back. Uh, but I wanted. I'm the taking lugs. everything back. I just want you to know. Yeah, I, 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 I want I your own. In fact, I'm <laughs> gathering it all up because I'm out of here tomorrow. Um, so the lugs, however, I bought on Amazon and installed them myself. Oh, because you didn't want it to attach directly. I, no, I didn't want the lugs to be st uh, this silver stainless steel. Ah, I wanted them to be the. So you replaced the lugs. The, yeah, yeah. So just the lugs are new. That's why I thought it was a phony. Yeah. How exactly. funny. How yeah. funny. Uh, That's so, the buckle, the ultra buckle or whatever they call it, classic buckle. It's yeah. very, uh, Bluebird was the name of the color, which mm -hmm. I okay. quite like. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the Series 5 Apple Watch or the Series 3 Apple Watch, um, I would not have upgraded to the Series 5 if Uncle Leo hadn't bought the Series 5. Love because the, the Series, series 3 5. is great. Yeah, but I like always on. I now love you it do? that I have a watch. Yeah. <laughs> It's See, a watch. At first, I didn't really care about it um, because most of the time when I'm looking at my watch, I end up doing the, the thing. Not me. So you often are. I uh, surreptitiously were like right now I'm looking at the It oh made me God, laugh. How that was <laughs> news. Uh, uh, when that was news for that watch, it really made me laugh. I'm like, it's a watch. It should always. It's finally a watch. It's finally a watch. Hands Out Tech is brought to you by iFixit. If you have a cracked screen, a bad battery in your phone, iFixit makes it easy to fix your iOS or Android device yourself with their all-in-one fix kits. In the kit, you get the part and tools backed by an industry-leading warranty and step-by-step -step instructions with amazing photos and videos to show you how it's done. They even have kits for the tiny devices like the Apple Watch and the Happy Meal. Really. Visit ifixit.com slash hot to get $10 off your next $50 fix. That's ifixit.com slash hot. Uh, the next thing I'll talk about is Elvis. He likes blue, apparently. Yeah, a blue and green. Folks. This is his blue suede computer. <sighs> Whoops. First of all, uh, the Kredg sticker that Mary Jo Foley Mary promised Joe. me, it's here. Uh, <laughs> I've put it on Elvis, the one sticker I think that'll ever go on Elvis. But this is the Surface Laptop 3. Uh, it is really elegant. It took gorgeous. Microsoft three tries, but I think they really Look nailed it. Look at how it. light, how much yeah. does it weigh? Thin. It's like Nothing. Thin as a it's razor blade. about two pounds. So I have to say, here's the thing. I opened up the box. And I pulled this out, and I thought, oh, my God, this is a Microsoft product. This is really cool. Yeah, it's, I don't think you've ever had a Windows machine. No, no, not in years. Yeah. Uh, I've certainly never had a Windows machine, correct. Like, I've had uh, machines that ran Windows, but I have not had ever uh, a Dedicate, machine made by Microsoft. Right. You were so um, judgy. So this was the first product that I had made by Microsoft. <laughs> and genuinely, it is so well done. Um, the keyboard is nice. The trackpad, I'm surprised. It's not... In my opinion, Apple level trackpad. No, no, but, I think nothing is. I agree, but it came pretty close, and so I never had to sort of slog through the the now, bad trackpads. I confess, I made him have an Alcantara yeah. key, uh, you know, wrist rest. I really didn't want one, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I'm it's a clean kinda, guy, it's so it's not going to get all weird and yeah. crusty. Yeah, exactly. It is different. Soft. And then the last it's thing really I'll say comfy. is honestly, there's something too every once in a while. 
having the opportunity to click on my screen yeah. with my yeah, finger. I agree. That that uh, touch, touch that is, is okay. Nice. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. I don't mind the gorilla. What is it that Steve Jobs would say? The gorilla wrist or whatever. Yeah. That doesn't affect it's a non-issue. It's very pretty. And then lastly, I want to talk about a product that I had to eat crow over uh, because uh, Anthony, Ant, and I, was it just the three of us, mm -hmm. uh, went to uh, Pepcom in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And I see this gal and she's wearing this rounded rectangle on her forehead. Oh, dear. And I'm like, okay. I look up, the sign says better. And I'm like, it's a sleep tracker. No one's going to wear a sleep tracker every mm -hmm. single night on their forehead. B-E-D-D-R. -E -D 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 like in your bed. Yes. Um, and so then I uh, was just going to ignore, had a couple glasses of wine and decided <laughs> I'm going to go over and I'm going to- Are you an be, alien? I'm going to be a little smug. Are you communicating um, with another galaxy? Exactly. Ends up, this product is super cool. So You don't wear it on your head though. You do. Yes, you do. Oh, but give yes, me, you do. Give me a second here. It's real. So this is the uh, better sleep tuner. And this is not a device that you wear every night to bed. It's not a sleep tracker for that. Instead, it is a sleep diagnostics test that you wear for a week. So it comes with these little um, m medical adhesive pads, and you place those around this little device. Uh, it's USB-C charging, and it connects to your phone. It's got uh, the green LEDs on the back of it, as well as several other sensors in here. And for a week, you wear it, and it does so many... Um, number of calculations per night. Now, here's the thing that makes it different, and I'm trying to hurry up here. I know we don't have much time, but this thing uh, not only tracks your sleep position and the, the respiration rate and all that kind of stuff, or the heart rate and that kind of stuff, but it also tracks your blood oxygen content wow. throughout the night. And then it can tell you, uh, most people have a couple SBEs, which is the technical term stop breathing events mm -hmm. um, per night. But some people who have more than that, that is where you're starting to get into the range of sleep apnea. And so that is a life-threatening disease. Absolutely life-threatening. It's bad for your brain over the course of time. Essentially, your brain isn't getting oxygen, and it wakes your body up because it's freaking out because it's not getting oxygen in the middle of the night and says, hey, but you often don't realize that you're waking up. So you wake up hundreds of times a night. You wake up in the, at the, you know, the end of the night, and you go, why am I so tired? Well, you weren't sleeping all night. So this is, you know, if you feel like you're running low on energy a lot of the time, or maybe your partner has complained about snoring, or you have some other issues that you're trying to sort of get a hold of, you wear this for a week, and the app helps you <laughs> learn if you are having lots of SBEs. To be clear, it events. won't clear it, uh, cure it, but it Correct. will... Let diagnose you know. it. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So it's then, like going to a sleep study, but they, you don't have to go to the hospital. Exactly. Today. Boom. Yeah. And they're actually going to be working to uh, add a respiration um, a mask a addition. Yeah. So that way you can, doctors will be able to give these to their patients instead of having to spend a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of money on a sleep study. Then they can go from there to if they need to wear a sleep apnea mask or things like that. The last thing I'll say is that pretty soon uh, I signed up for early access to this. They are working with real sleep coaches. And so you can par partner with a sleep coach who will get your information. You know, you agree to do it. And then they will help you improve your sleep in different ways, depending on sort of what your, you know, what conditions you might be experiencing and things like that, or help give guidance on how you can get help for sleep apnea. So I think this is something to stay uh, posted on. And even the case uh, is the last thing I'll say. It is perfectly molded for the, the products. Everything fits in nicely, even the USB-C charging uh, cord and the port. So really well designed, super cool people, and some awesome technology that I think could save people money and eventually save people's lives, frankly. It is a life-threatening disease. Better. Better. B-E-D-D-R. -E 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 and that's Micah Sargent, the host of Tech News Weekly and iPad, or sorry, iOS, <laughs> iOS today. Oh. Let's wrap it up real quickly. I have a few things, like 18. I couldn't narrow it down, but I had to. I noticed nobody mentioned the iPhone 11. This is the 11 Pro Why? Max. Why? And there were just you things. Android boys, you just get over on the right side of the table. That's all I can say. This Now, I love the Pixel 4, but I have to say, if I had to pick one phone all year long, it's clearly the iPhone mm -hmm. uh, 11. And the Pro Max is great with the extra wide angle. When I'm traveling, honestly, I'm starting to think I don't need to bring all those fancy cameras and lenses because this does a great job. It's got a great screen, uh, no 90 hertz refresh, no headphone jack. Okay, those are negatives. But in many other respects, it's really, uh, it's it's a beast. It's actually probably the most powerful phone out there and superb battery life. So I guess if you're an iOS 
And it comes uh, in green. And it comes in green. <laughs> if you're, I have the gold one. If you're an iOS uh, user, I think the iPhone 11 Pro Max is fantastic. For Android folks, two very, actually three very good choices. Mm -hmm. The Pixel 4, the Pixel 3a, and the uh, OnePlus 7 Pro. So they're really some that excellent. legit. It they're is. all good phones. You know, this one is the most expensive. In fact, as... Uh, equipped with 256 gigs. That was one problem I had with the Pixel 4, only 128 gigs. Mm. 256 gigs, this is 1299 mm. It's kind of outrageously wow. expensive. Mm. So, And I think even Apple's realizing you're not going to get people pay that much. On the other hand, Apple folks pay a lot of money. This is the new 16-inch MacBook Pro, the one I was waiting for. And Apple has fixed a lot of things to make this the best MacBook Pro in at least four years since the 2015 the keyboard, no more butterfly keys. They're back to the old style uh, keyboard. And while it's still not as good maybe as the Lenovo, it's more than good enough. I really like the keyboard. You mentioned, uh, Micah, you didn't like the trackpad as much on the Surface. Look how big the trackpad Huge. is on the 16-inch okay. MacBook Pro. It's actually bigger than the iPhone Max. So <laughs> it, is, it is huge, and it's beautiful. It's glass. It's smooth. It's Nobody does it as well as Apple. There's some other features in here that have made this, I think, an even better MacBook Pro. The speakers are mind-bogglingly good. The right. other day, I uh, sent a Slack message, and Lisa said, what the hell was that? Did a jet just go over? <laughs> and I said, no, that's the speakers on this thing. It's They sound, I mean, you can listen to music on this. It's great for YouTube. They also, great for uh, using uh, for Skype because it's got array mics that sound very good. Negative on this, though, and Renee Ritchie has been saying it, 720p uh, you know, camera on this Why thing. Why are people ridiculous. still doing that on laptops? There's no reason. There's That's no a sense. That's a crazy way to save money. Apple, you got to put a better camera in here. The other thing they did that you can't tell on the inside is they've done a better job with cooling. This is a i9 in here, and it runs full speed compared to last year's i9. Uh, it is really a beast. In fact, I, uh, I've i compared this to the speed on my iMac Pro. That has, uh, I think, 10 cores. This is 8, and it is just as fast. I mean, I think this is a, a beast. And so a no more throttling down. How do you down? have weather on your touch bar? Well, if you're going to get a touch bar Mac, you got to get better touch tool. I'll make that a tip sometime better soon because tool. that really makes the touch bar usable. Otherwise... I just hit it all the time. Siri pops up, and I want to mm. punch her in the face. So, <laughs> so you got to get. I get rid of everything that I can touch on the touch bar. Also it's worth just noting, a this is Apple's first uh, take on in-display uh, fingerprint. Yeah, sensing. we just learned this. They have a patent on the fingerprint reader. It's very good. Every laptop should have fingerprint. Uh, most laptops have for years. Most Windows right. laptops, but Apple. Uh, has been doing this for the last couple of years. They really did a good job. So I am a big fan. 16-inch, as, con as configured with 32 gigs, the i9, a 2-terabyte hard drive. It is not cheap. Thirty six ninety nine. dollars Well, this is my baby. A lot of space. This is my baby. Is it full yet? I'll show you my other baby. This is the Sony. This is, and I know uh, mm. Ann is, is drooling over this mm. one. This is the Sony A7R Mark IV. This is the fourth edition of the A7R. This is Sony's top-of-the-line mirrorless SLR uh, digital camera, and it is spectacular. 61 megapixels. Sony has refined this over the years they've been making the A7s. Mm -hmm. the, just a, every time a little bit better. The software's a little bit better. I am just blown away by the quality of this camera. 61 megapixels. I don't need the 61 megapixels, but I do love the body on that. That is a big it, improvement. It feels better. They really improved it. The 61 megapixels is a negative in low light, but they make the A7S for people who want better right. video and low light, so there is an option I like having all that uh, pixel because you can zoom in, mm -hmm. uh, take a shot, and recrop it, and and you're not going to lose a lot of resolution. Right. It's still very usable. A couple of accessories on here. I'll go through them real quickly. You and I, Ann, are both Peak Design fans. Mm -hmm. You told me about this. This is the Peak Design hand strap. And it's I a clutch. Uh, yeah, it makes a big difference mm -hmm. if you're shooting. You can you can put your hand in here, and it's very secure. Mm -hmm. I really love that. Of course, I have a full Peak Design uh, strap on this. This is the Sony digital uh, microphone. This is new. This is all digital. It's a shotgun mic. This is what we're going to take to CES. Right. It's going to let us in a noisy environment get very good sound from uh, people standing a few feet away. And I'm going to shoot with this and a wide angle lens. And I think we're going to get great video. I'll be using this. This is the new Peak Travel Tripod. Ooh, just came out. Ooh, precious. This was the Kickstarter. <laughs> um, I just got mine. And I ha you've already seen a prototype, Ant. Mm -hmm. But in every way, they've so thoughtful details. They've got uh, a little uh, key on here that you can use to loosen and tighten things Ooh. that's built in. They have, if you pull this out, they have a uh, an so iPhone or a phone uh, holder. What? Yep. what? Mount your phone you to the top of your tripod. <laughs> 
but it comes in there. I just, I, in every way, this is this is created by a company that thinks about what photographers want, talks to photographers. Because they're and, all photographers themselves. And then gives them what they want. <laughs> the most important part about the Peak Travel tripod is it folds up to almost nothing. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'll show you the case and give you some idea. So you can you can oh put this in your word. suitcase. That's it. It's the yeah, smallest it's tripod out there. I got the carbon fiber for lightweight and strength. But and the other thing is this has little hooks on here. I could put it. Uh, I'll put a peak strap on it and just carry it on my back. So if you oh, see wow. me at CES with this on my back, that's what that is. That's the travel tripod. One more thing, I gotta give honorable mention. This is Google's Nest Home Hub Max. Right. And I love it. Now I know a lot of people like the original Home Hub because it didn't have a camera on it. I like having the camera. This doesn't live in my bedroom, obviously. It lives in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. When I walk up to it, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Give me the th the theta on this one because it's going to recognize me. It knows I'm here. Oh, wow. It says, hello, Leo, and it gives me my schedule. It, it, it knows who I am. It's also the best picture frame ever. It's showing pictures. You pick what you want, but uh, you can say, for instance, I have more than 50,000 pictures on Google Photos. Any picture with me, Lisa, the kids, I want to see on here. That's cool. I love that. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it When my hello doorbell rings, it'll sh it'll immediately, instantly show who's at the door on this screen and say somebody's at the front door. If it knows who it is, it'll even say who they are. It'll say Mike wow. is at the front door, and I could say tell him. <laughs> yeah, right. so, and there the, again? the speakers are not great the lenovo has better speakers but they're good enough and i think for a kitchen display google has knocked it out of the park on this one 229 dollars list but shop around because they're discounting heavily yeah. <sighs> i got wow. them all in nice. wow what a year Impressive. this has been we want to welcome jason's been here forever right how many years have yeah. you been at twit uh <laughs> too many well since 2012 so the oh, grizzled 70, veteran. 70 years? Almost eight years yeah yeah going going on but eight years. aunt and micah our newest uh, uh, additions we're so happy to have both of you happy to be here uh, Glad i think to be we've here. got lots of great things coming Yep. Uh, all four of us, and I think maybe uh, a player to be named later. We're still uh, looking dun, dun, for dun, one more. Rounding person. out the basketball squad. Round huh? out the squad. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how many people play basketball? Five? People? Yeah, just five. That's okay, it. just checking. Yeah. Oh, boy. So I think Steph Curry is available. We need to talk. <laughs> 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 Thank you, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed Hands On Technology. This is our year end best of 2019. Every week, a new review of a product from one of our great team members. I hope you will subscribe to HOT. Just go to twit.tv slash hot to see all the episodes and subscribe. And uh, we hope you'll have a wonderful holiday season and a happy and healthy 2020. We'll see you next year. Bye. 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 <laughs> Keep up with all the hottest tech news and gadgets. Visit twit.tv. There you'll be able to find and subscribe to all our tech shows. Thanks for watching Hands on Tech.